Greetings, friends. It's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush, and today I've got another watercolor, Botanical. I really like these botanicals. They're a lot of fun. I've uh, started here by showing the photographic reference that I use, and as you can see, it's not one photograph. I have mashed together uh, several photos of cherries, several photos of um, blossoms, and kind of uh, with Photoshop cut around the edges. And these are just references. After I take the goldfinch and the blossoms and cherries and the leaves, I draw them in the way I want them to be. And so I'm going to leave this reference up here in the corner for the for the duration so you can kind of see how I'm changing it to make it my own. Botanicals have been really popular. Um, they're kind of receiving a renewed popularity recently, but they've been around for hundreds and hundreds of years uh, for as long as there have been medical journals and horticological journals there have been botanical paintings and usually the botanicals um, are painted by an anonymous artist they they never really get credit for their work they're they're basically to identify plants and animals. Um, certainly Audubon was really good at his, his botanicals that included his uh, bird paintings. He was painting them in the 17, late 1700s um, out in the wilderness of the New World and uh, painted a ten-volume set of encyclopedias of birds of the New World. And the way he did it was to um, shoot the birds so that he could take a wire and wire the wings and the feet and everything just the way it would look in nature. And therefore, you know, counting each feather, and, and therefore those look were really accurate. He was probably one of the last people to have shot and killed a passenger pigeon before they went extinct, unfortunately. But that made his work really accurate, and he painted the uh, leaves and trees and plants that those birds would typically be uh, hanging around, eating, nesting in, and so his botanicals were really quite beautiful and became really popular to hang on the walls. Uh, I think it wasn't until the 1800s and the many reproductions of, of uh, medical journals and, you know, uh, homeopathic type journals that um, these became popular to frame and hang on a wall. Usually a botanical has uh, the leaves, the fruit, the blossoms of the plant, the seeds, and even the roots, as well as any birds or animals that might be around it even bugs sometimes. But I'm just focusing on the blossoms and the fruit and a bird. Just fun for me. I'm enjoying it. Da Vinci painted quite a few botanical paintings, never meant to be finished or framed, but he loved studying nature and therefore he would, would study 
plants and animals as well. Uh, many of the famous masters did the same. Uh, I, I especially like uh, Albrecht Dürer, the, the German artist from the Renaissance area, era. He could do a watercolor that looked just photographic. Uh, he actually took a scoop of weeds from a swamp and painted them so accurately, so uh, photographically, that uh, people still remark on, on its beauty today. So, yeah, his work is really phenomenal. I love the, the rabbit painting that he did in watercolor as well. Beautiful, really beautiful. He's another artist that died before his time, but he's mostly famous for his um, wood block prints and uh, and lithographs that he did for the uh, printing of the Bible. He did the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse and um, the Annunciation of uh, Mary and the Angel. Beautiful work, but I love his watercolor botanicals as well. been having a little trouble with my camera for some reason it is photographing everything dark the lights are on I know I had my lamp lit but my camera gave me a very dark image I'm, I'm very sorry I apologize and I should probably cut this whole segment out um, but there you are, it's the end of the, of the, uh, painting anyway, so. Well, there you are. It's all done. My finished a botanical with the goldfinch and cherries. I hope you enjoyed the um, little bit of a history lesson there and um, art history. So if you like my work, um, please subscribe, um, give me a thumbs up, and check out some of my links. I have a Patreon page where some of my dear friends are, are supporting my work, and um, that just means so much to me, you can't imagine. I also have several craft books and children's books published through Lulu, and some are on Amazon. So check out my links. And thanks so much for watching. And do come again. Bye, everyone. See you next time.